Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Neeraj. In this session, we will see how to append some data into a file. And I have one more update. A few friends of mine, so they suggested to share my understanding about Rust. I am not saying that I am an expert in Rust. But yes, so I'll share whatever I understood with my learning. So I'll share those with you guys. In last couple of sessions, we saw how to write some data into a file. And we also saw how to read the file content in Rust. In this session, we will club all these functionalities into one single program. And that could be a similar so some, some sort of a simple text editor. That will help us to have a warm understanding of file handling in Rust. I will start the program and first we will see how the program would look like. So I'll start cargo run. I'll be presented with three options. So let's say first I'll opt for W. So the, the, this uh, new file has been created, test.txt. I'll provide the file content. Let's say, please subscribe. If I open the file, so this uh, dynamic content, file content got, that got added into the file. I'll start the program again. And this time, let's say I opt for A, A for append. So again, it is asking me to provide the file content. So let's say I am providing, I have all ready subscribed. Hit enter. So this new content also got added into, uh, into the, the same file. And uh, if I want to just simply render the file content, I opt for R, hit enter. Uh, this program simply displaying the file content. So this is what uh, we are going to work on. And uh, Believe me, this will help us a lot to have the uh, deeper and firm understanding of uh, file handling in Rust. So let's do that. I'll move the terminal to this side to have some uh, more space. I'll do some refactoring in this code. First, uh, I'll create the functions. This would be for a read file, fn read from file. And we'll move this all this code inside this function. Okay. And also create another uh, function to append the file. Append file. Fn append to file. We will work on here. No problem. And uh, we will have the options here. So we will present a menu kind of thing. println. We'll say please select. Again a start a println. W for write. Or better it will actually create the file also. Create or write. I'll duplicate it three times. A for append. And lastly R for read the file okay so these are okay i forgot one semicolon here no problem so that way so we our menu is ready and now we will uh, ask the user to provide the user input so i'll create a variable let choice and by the way this must be mutable and that would be a uh, i'll start i'll create a empty string and once again like in our weather program or the calculator program so we we collected the user input in the variable so again we will use the std in read line and we will need to provide a mutable reference of our choice and unwrap so we have got the user input for the choice uh, what a user is intending to do and now we will uh, write some if else statements so let's say if choice equals and also so the, the user can uh, provide a, a small case w or a small capital case so better to make it uniform i'll create a another uh, shadow variable of choice and choice dot trim to so just uh, trim out the slash n character and then to uppercase okay and uh, here we will check for the appropriate stops so now if, if the user is user has opted for w then we will fire the write function write to file and uh, else if choice equals capital a then we will fire append function else if choice the value for choice is capital r read from file we will fire this function okay and uh, in the else block so let's say simply print a message you have not selected choice okay that way our uh, structure is ready and uh, we will very simply need to work on the uh, appropriate functions so of this the read and write is already there we are already having it so we we only need to work on the append to file function and also we need to create some function to take the user input for the string remember we here we are simply passing the static content so better to create a, a function to uh, collect this uh, user input from the from the terminal 
So I'll, let's create a function so that we, we will use the same function in the right and the append functions appropriately. I'll create a let's say get file content and this function will return a string and uh, create a variable input equals that would be a string empty string and uh, std in dot read line and we will pass the mutable reference of input and unwrap so far so good we will uh, collect the content that needs to be written inside the file from the user and we will very simply return it while we write the file so instead of right now we will not need to provide a static content for the values that needs to be written rather we will collect from the user okay so far so good uh, looks to be right better to check how it works cargo run so we are getting the menu of our program got compiled that means there is no errors up to this point so let's say i press update for r okay so also for the sake of clarity let us have a print ln message here and let's say your file content okay that would be more readable yes that this is more readable okay fine and now let's work on the append to file function for uh, appending the file so we will need to open the file in the append mode so let's open the file in the append mode let's create a variable let file that also that must be immutable and fs open options new and uh, we will provide the flag append as true and very simply we will open and we will provide the file path and in case if there is any error a display an error message unable to open file okay so that way so this will return a file handle with the append as true so that way we can append some data into the file that was that got opened and now we will create a variable file content and call this function so we uh, got the user input the the data that needs to be appended into the file and now we will very simply use the file handle to write the data so write and uh, we will need to provide the file content dot as bytes so far so good and yes unwrap because wherever uh, a result is returned so we need to handle the error part also and once the data got appended into the file better to uh, read the file as well for the sake of clarity okay so far so good so looks like our program is complete and it's time to test it i'll delete this file test.txt and uh, let's run our program cargo run we are uh, presented with the our menu so let's say i am providing a a remember our uh, file is not there we got a uh, error unable to open the file provide w to create or write display some message here otherwise the user will be confused okay so let's say please provide content otherwise the user will uh, think of it that nothing is happening cancel it and also let us delete this file once again cargo run w so please provide content this is my first text hit enter this text got written inside the file the file also got created let's rerun the program and this time let's say i am opting for a please provide content please subscribe hit enter so this uh, our file got appended let us also try to read the file content so we are uh, getting this data so this, this is my first text and please subscribe this is what uh, what was the actual file content this way we have uh, successfully completed uh, this uh, very simple small uh, text editor although not a full fledged gui text editor but some sort of similar functionalities for uh, reading writing and appending some data into the file that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this session and also you were enjoying this series on rust as well okay so i'll see you next so till then take care and happy coding